Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to do a <clears throat> Jeffree Star haul, or makeup haul. I'm here to do a Jeffree Star makeup haul. Two of the products is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, one of the products is from the new Morphe slash Jeffree Star collab. I'll start with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics stuff because that's the positive of the video. And the Morphe stuff is the negative of the video. So, you know what? I have my hair up in a clip and I have on these shrags of pajamas. You know I mean business. And um, I'm a little disappointed. So I mean business. I definitely mean business in this video. <sighs> Before we get started, lips of the day is um, Soft Serve by Jeffree Star. And the gloss is um, Candy Drip lip gloss from Jeffree Star. Alright, let's get started. So, I'll get started with the liquid lip. So, I bought a liquid lip. It's here. I think this is it, yeah. Okay, so I finally bought Unicorn Blood liquid lip. Now, Unicorn Blood is, hold up, okay, is the sister of Designer Blood. I could swatch both of these together, but they look very similar in the two very similar but I know this is unicorn blood and this is designer blood without even looking at it because designer blood is more of a dark red unicorn blood has more is more of like a brick red with brown in it so they are very different and designer blood when it drives down it has a gold shit so designer blood is different than unicorn blood it is they look similar but they are very different they really are and they're both dark red shades but as I said, that's more dark red, and this is more brown in it. This is like a dark red with brown, making it like a brick red. So this one has a smell, surprisingly. I thought, it smells like root beer. I thought the nudes only smelled like root beer. But this one also smells like root beer. Unicorn blood, liquid lips smells like root beer. Now, I wore it once, um, and it's amazing. This lip, liquid lipstick formula is amazing. If I had to choose be between Designer Blood and Unicorn Blood, I don't know. I love Designer Blood, but Unicorn Blood, I don't know. It's just, I like the fact that there's brown in the dark red. That's just dark red with like a gold shift. So I kind of prefer this one, Unicorn Blood, but Designer Blood is nice. So if I had to choose that, I would choose Unicorn Blood. I'm not swatching anything because the liquid lips. I will swatch the highlighter that I bought though. So I did buy a highlighter, and I bought a little dirty because I used it today. Oof, it's a little dirty. Oof, it's really dirty. Okay, sorry. Oh my god, this is dirty. Okay. So I bought Peach Goddess in the Skin Frost. Um, I'm gonna swatch it. Okay, so Peach Goddess. Now, you know I love Sarcophagus. That's my go-to highlighter from Jeffree Star. Um, and I do like Ice Cold or whatever. And I did but just buy um, the new Supreme Frost and um, Diamond Web. This is... I don't know, should I... Let me get a tissue because it's bad. This is going to make a mess. Because I want to swatch this for you. This feels really velvety and smooth, like butter. It's so good. It feels like I'm touching like silk. It's like, oh, I can feel that all day. It's so relaxing. But Peach Goddess is, I would say it's an icy peach, obviously, Peach Goddess. It's an icy peach with pink and nude. It's like a peachy pink nude um, highlighter. It's very icy. It's very creamy. It's very pigmented. Um, it's very pigmented, very icy. It's just amazing. So, with that being said, it is a gorgeous highlighter. <clears throat> Let me get it off my fingers. 
and my clothes. <laughs> Making a mess out of this highlighter, bitch. Okay. So you guys get the gist. It's an icy peach pink highlighter. I have it on my cheeks now. You really can't see it. I may put my makeup under the light at the end of the video. But that's that. It's a very pretty, 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 pretty shade. I think this is my new favorite highlighter. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. And it's perfect for light skin tones. I feel like medium skin tones can pull it off too. But deeper skin tones, this is not for you. No, it's like, it's more light. It's more like white. It's for white people. Spanish people might get away with it. If you're light skinned Spanish, but black, you can't get away with this if you're black. There's no way. This is way too, too light. It's way too light. But it is very pretty for my skin tone. I love it. And um, so, Sarcophagus has a run for its money now. It definitely has, um, has some competition. <laughs> so, um, now let's talk about, now that the Jeffree Star Cosmetics portion is over, I want to talk about the Morphe Jeffree Star collab. I did buy one item from there, from the collab. Hold on, let me put this back. I did buy one item. I'll show it to you in a second. Now, they came with three new items. They came with a brush set, Morphe, um, Jeffree Star like setting mist, and an eyeshadow palette. Now, you guys know I really, really, really wanted the eyeshadow palette. I was really excited for it. I was really, I was geeking myself out. You know, I went to the Morphe store. I was trying everything. I was very disappointed. Now, I knew it was not going to be Jeffree Star Cosmetics quality and eyeshadow. I know, I knew that from the start, you know. But I have tried other palettes from Morphe, and they felt nice. This, it felt like I was rubbing chalk. Like kids chalk from like, like writing chalk on the on the ground in, in the school grounds. That's what it felt like. I was a little shocked. The only saving grace about that palette is that it has the gold's glitter, which is nice because I felt gold glitter eyeshadows and they feel like shit. That one actually was work nice. Um, of course, I didn't use anything on my. What's it called? On my um on my eyes but I did use um, on my hands I swatched it and it was shit it was shit it was it was shit excuse me oh my god it's like shit on my okay um it was shit it was really bad the metallics weren't swatching the the mats were horrible the palette was a mess the palette was a fucking mess. The brushes I didn't touch because I don't need any new brushes and it wasn't worth it to me. But I did buy the Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist from Morphe. It's pink. So let me review this mess for you. Now I didn't like the, the palette, wasn't feeling the, didn't need the brushes. I was really upset about the, the palette because I did really want it and I was looking forward to it but whatever, it is what it is. So this is in the smell strawberry, so it's supposed to smell like strawberries. This is the Center of Fresh Mist. Morphe already has a black one and they made a pink one with Jeffree. The black one doesn't smell like anything, this one smells like strawberry. so this retails for eighteen dollars if you use JSTAR at the checkout you could I did not get ten percent off on the highlighter or the liquid lipstick. Any Jeffrey Sell Cosmetics products you don't get ten percent off. You only get it off on the collection of the Morphe collection. So, with that being said, uh, <clears throat> set your beat with the super fine Jeffree Star Berry scented mist, a continuous air powered spray delivers a controlled and also refreshing application for this. Now, this is supposed to come on after you do your makeup. I know Jeffrey's making his own setting spray. I think it's called Resting Bitch Face. It hasn't come out with it yet. This was is $18 with 10% off. I think it's like 17 and some change, maybe 16, maybe 16 and some change. I don't remember. Um, okay. 
strawberry scent. Now this this has 2.8 fluid ounces, and when I look at my All Nighter spray, which this the small retails for fifteen dollars, the big the big one retails for thirty dollars, and this is 4.0 ounces and 2.8. So the Morphe one is definitely less product than the All Nighter. The All Nighter is 4.0 fluid ounces, and the Morphe one is 2.8. So you're getting a lot less in this spray, which makes sense because it um. It's cheaper and the formula is not as good I can tell you that right now so what happened was I did makeup this morning I will show everything to you under the light spread everything on like I did I closed my eyes I sprayed whatever all around went like this let it dry the whole day this setting bright first of all let's talk about the smell so this is how it sprays I don't want to get in my water so I'm gonna spray this way it sprays like a mist it smells like it sprays like a fucking Like a water hose. Or like a sprinkler. Okay. It smells nice. I do get the berry aspect of it. It's but to be quite honest with you, this smells not that good. I was expecting it to smell better. So let's talk about this. There's not one good thing to say about this, to be honest with you. The cap is chinzy and cheap feeling. This feels like a, ch a cheap Silly String packaging. You get at Potty City. In fact, the, the Silly String from Potty City packaging is actually better than this. This is a cheap plastic. I mean, this this is like something that I don't even know. I, I can't even. I mean, it's so ridiculous. And this is like literally the cheapest spray bottle I've ever felt in my life. That you can get this shit at Potty City. <sighs> now. The smell, I don't mind strong smells, but this lingers all day long. It lingers, now, okay, I won't say all day long, but it, it lingers for most of the day. It dissipates maybe five or six hours later, but you can smell it like you spray perfume. Like, the scent is strong. So if you don't like strong smells, I don't mind strong smells, that didn't bother me. But if you don't like strong smells, this is not going to be for you because it's a very strong smell. And I didn't even spray that much on, so you're, you're not going to like it. It's going to give you a headache. It, 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 it doesn't go away. It's like perfume. It does not go away. It's like you're spraying perfume on yourself. And the formula is not good. I can see my... And I never had this problem with All Nighter from Urban Decay. Now, I understand All Nighter from Urban Decay is more expensive and it's... It's a special case because it's like so good. It's like award winning. So I don't want to compare anything to that because that's like, that's like gold. Like that's like, you just, it's just something for like the gods. It's like so good. So I don't want to compare the two because they're two totally different formulas and two totally different price points. But that is like beyond amazing. This is... I see my redness underneath my foundation. Uh, my foundation's coming off. Um, I see just like everything just coming undone on my face. My highlighter, everything's just coming out of our place. My eye makeup's fine. My eyebrow makeup's fine. My lipstick, of course, comes off out of makeup. So that has nothing to do with that. But my whole face makeup, contour, highlight, and foundation, and setting pat and powder, everything else came off. Most of it came off. Jeffree Star Concealer, setting powder, everything is like almost all gone. Not all gone, but you can see that it dissipated and with All Nighter, that never happens. It does, it does not happen. I don't know if you're supposed to keep spraying this throughout the day, but I mean, with All Nighter, you don't have to do that. You do it once before you leave the house and that's it. I don't know if you have to keep doing it throughout the day, but I feel like that would be make no sense because this is way less product than All Nighter and it, it's like... The smell is not... Is not it. It has a berry smell. Some people think it smells like Pepto Bismol. Some people said it smells like Pez candy. This just smells like. It smells like a. It smells like an artificial strawberry candy that's like went stale. But like went bad. Yeah, it's not good. It's like a sticky formula too. It's like a stick. I don't like this. This Morphe Jeffree Star collaboration was a fucking bust for me. Hated the eyeshadow palette. Did not like this. I'm gonna use this up because I bought it, but 
I'm gonna just continue and stay with my all nighter um, spray after this. I'm just gonna use this up, for what it's worth. I might even mix the two, like put some all nighter, then just spray this on just for the hell of it, just for fun until this runs out because I did pay money for this and I need to use it up. But yeah, I did not like this. Is to me, this is not Joey approved. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is not Joey approved. This is not. This is not. Joey Skag. Oh wait, I, I shouldn't say my phone. I'm not gonna say my full name because that's that's gonna be. I don't want anyone to stop me. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel weird saying my full name. But now you know my my last name starts from S. Anyways, so this is not approved by me. I'm very surprised Jeffrey approved this collection through Morphe. I mean, I get this is not his brand, and I know for a fact Jeffrey will never bring out an eyeshadow palette or a setting mist like this out of his own brand. I know that for a fact, because Jeffrey's not that bitch. He is... He has an amazing makeup company, except for the lip liners. But everything else is amazing, and I know for a fact that he would never... This, this would not be happening if this was Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm actually very disappointed in Morphe, though, because I feel like Morphe has better stuff than this, and to collab with Jeffree and do this for him, like, do this with him is, like, really fucking ridiculous and just it's disappointing. But that's my review on the setting mist. I don't recommend it. I don't think you should... I can't say one positive thing about this. I couldn't say one positive thing about the eyeshadow palette and the brushes I didn't really try, so I really can't say anything about that. I do love... I did love the last collaboration with the brushes. I have them. But that setting mist bitch is not it, sis. I think that, yeah, it was, it's a good. It's not good. I mean, I've never had this. Let me push out to the light. Okay. So this is my makeup under the light. Um, so what I'm saying is that I put the mist on. What time is it right now? Hold on. Oh my God, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I put my makeup on, when did I put my makeup on today? I put my makeup on, was it 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 9 hours. Excuse me, 9 hours. I started seeing my makeup just not lasting. I would say it was around 7, 8 o'clock at night. I started seeing like everything, and then it's another thing with the mist, it's like a really wet look. Like it's really dewy and wet, and it's like a maybe, it's, it, I don't know. I just feel like it does not set the face well. Um, but as you can see, like, you can see my foundation going through and the highlighter is, like, dissipating. Everything's dissipating. All my face makeup's dissipating. My eye makeup's fine. My eyebrow's fine. It's just my face makeup that's dissipating. As I said, with All Nighter or by Urban Decay, you, I do not have this problem. So, I do not recommend this. Um, my makeup is coming off. I'm, like, melting. Like, the fucking Wicked Witch of the fucking... I was going to say the Wicked Witch of the Best. Wicked Witch of the West. Because this is not the best, honey. This is definitely not the best. Um, yeah, I mean, no, this is just sucks. This just sucks, Jeffrey. I'm sorry. I know this is not your fault completely. I know you're okay with it and you're collabed with, you're, you're collabing with them. So it's not really your fault. This is the Morphe brand. It's just your name's on it. So it's kind of disappointing because your name's on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your name's on it. Let me put you back over here. Okay. Because your name's on it. So it's a little disappointing because you did okay this. Even though this is not your formula and not your brand. This is Morphe. So Morphe's the one that needs to take the biggest hit out of this. But because your name is on it and you okay this, Jeffrey, I do have to blame you a little bit. Because you did okay this and your name is on it. However, I know if this was Jeffree Star Cosmetics, you would not have put this out. <laughs> Let's just keep it all the way real here. Um, for the price point and everything, I don't even recommend it for the price point. Yeah, it's $18, but I mean, I would spend a little bit more for Urban Decay All Nighter, and you just get more bang for your buck, and it's way better. So, I mean, there's no need to spend less money for a product that just does not work. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So, I would not recommend that. I don't even want to use it. I feel like giving it away. <laughs> I don't even like this smell. It smells like annoying me. Yeah. But I do love all the Jeffree Star Cosmetics stuff. I bought at Morphe today. Oh, not today. I bought it yesterday. Um, the Peach Goddess Highlighter and the Unicorn Blood Liquid Lip is amazing, obviously, because it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But, yeah, I'm sorry. 
I mean, I'm seeing positive reviews on these. I'm seeing positive reviews. It's just, I'm not... I cannot okay this. I don't know. I'm thinking since Jeffrey thought because it's so cheap that for the for the price point it was okay to put his name on it. No, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. I don't care if this was even five dollars. I would not put my name on it. Like, I'll even show you. Like, I don't even want to spray it on me, but since I'm probably never gonna use this again, or maybe I'm mean, gonna try to. But bitch, look. So that's what I did. Every time I spray my setting spray, I go like this with my face. It doesn't matter what setting spray it is, I always do that. That's it. My face is a little dewy or whatever. But that's what I did. That's what I did this morning. I sprayed, I sprayed a half the amount on it. I went like this, fanned it away, you know. Let it seep into my pores and my skin. And this formula is just horrible. This is like... I feel like I'm just spraying strawberry candy fused hairspray on my face. I mean, it just, ugh, it's not good. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But yeah, that's how it sprays. That's how it works. So yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just can't believe this. Uh, but listen, you, <clears throat> you live and you learn. I will never... Never buy that again. God, no. So, I want to think of, because this is the thing. I didn't know what I was going to, I don't know what I'm going to film after this. This may be the last video I'm going to film for a long, long time. Until maybe like October. I don't even know. Just because, I just, I'm running out of, I, I'm just, I don't know. I'm going to be so busy and stuff. And I, I thank everyone who commented on my last video and gave me ideas for upcoming videos. But, I don't know. I think I'm going to take a break. Like, you know how some people need a vacation? I'm going to take a little break from, from YouTube. Don't think I died or anything. Just know that I took a break. And um, I'll come back. But I need to take a little vacation from YouTube. So, this is going to be my so long. Uh, not so long, but like, see you soon. And I'm gonna miss you guys, um, but I just need to focus on myself right now. I have a lot going on, and not that I'm not gonna have time to film any more videos, it's just I don't really have any content to think about, and like, I really don't have, I really just wanna focus on myself right now. So I love you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, if it is a while since the next time you guys are gonna see me, I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer, I hope that if you're starting school i hope the school year is great um i'm just like oh my god you know when you're like i need a cup of tea that's why i need a cup of tea because i'm furnished i'm fucking furnished i need a cup of tea with honey yep so yeah i hope this gives you some insight of what you'll expect if you go to the morphe store you bought these items i hope I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, so. Don't shoot the messenger. What a shame. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, I feel like, oh, uh, I'm gonna feel bad that I feel sad that, you know, this may be like the last video I'm gonna film in a while, so I don't wanna say goodbye, but I'm gonna, I know I have to. So I guess I should just do it. Alright. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and you will be seeing me soon again. You will be. You'll be seeing me soon again. Um, I might do with some type of favorites at the end of the month. At the end of September, who knows? But yeah, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little break. 
I think everyone needs it. Like, I think every YouTuber needs it a little bit. By the way, I had on blood sugar today on my eyes. Blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. I had on basically the whole top row of blood sugar on my eyes today. I love it. It's like a gold, sultry, smoky eye. It's beautiful. Um, you guys enjoy, and I'll be seeing you guys soon, okay? I love you guys. Bye.